I'm coming in close to you. 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 I'm coming in
and the philosophy we are the cynics would come even more powerful or not more powerful, more influential we are talking about cynicism where basically they would abandon all the trappings of regular society live on the streets but also epicureanism and epicurious epicureans here's epicureans this was a philosophy that would have great impact down the road it's been misused all the time but it's basically that we as humans must exploit the five senses and do things that will promote our own general well-being. Now, a lot of people will assume this means you know, to basically just do what you want, usually involving drinking lots of wine or something like that. But that's not at all what it really is. The big thing is this harmony of body and mind. Where you must, what is actually enjoying the five senses would be the pleasure in the form not just anything you want that feels good, but pleasure as in doing good deeds and good for each other. And if you do anything that causes pain, that's evil. Not just pain for you, but pain for others. So Epicureans were not selfish. But what's going to come of this? People are going to get that, oh, we're going to have the five senses and we're going to do what we want and they'll basically involve just, basically, you know, debauchery. And so you see a lot of things about Epicureans, especially like the Middle Ages, were basically just a drinking society. That's not what it is. So I have this very handy to follow sources of Epicurean happiness. And this is from an Epicurean philosophy today where, see, you would abstain from eating things that are like, oh, you want the pie, but they're not a bad effect. So you try to find a happy medium. Moderation, knowledge, growing a beard. All of those things are going to matter. Oh, the French is just like teaching you to. Yeah, I thought it was like the guy. I'm trying to get 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 the guy. So, that is one philosophy. Here's another source. This is the time of great knowledge. We are talking about Ptolemy. He would make that library of Alexander. Alexandria. And there you'd have the five areas of study that they would create this library anybody would come in they remember they had that in the video any ships would come in you must get your books you must give any books you have they'd copy it and give you the copy and so philosophy literature history science and medicine and this is one of the great what ifs what if that library would have survived because even though they're going to call it the dark ages after the roman empire it really wasn't that dark you know, there was a lot of learning and thinking these books became almost legendary. They didn't have them. And if they would have found, if the library in Alexander would have survived into, let's say, 1100 AD, we might have a totally different course of history. There is a, a conspiracy theory today that part of the reason that um, you hide the fact that Alexander caught fire and burned down, to hide that fact, they just made up 800 years of history to fill in those blanks. And the years about 400 to 1200 didn't really happen. Called the lost chronology. That's what it, it was on the list. Almost. That's yeah, the best time. Charlemagne. Yeah, Charlemagne, the, the great leader Charlemagne didn't exist. Awesome. And we all know that's true. Yeah. But let me tell you, who picked it? Huh? Boy, no one picked it. Really? Yeah. You know, I might switch that one and get Kale. Uh, syphilis. Is Kale the one syphilis? This, this, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give I you know you've been waiting all day to say that. <laughs> yeah. My one job. <laughs> and I'm glad you could yell, and I'm hoping that someone's walking down the hall yeah, like, what the hell are they going, going in there? <laughs> By the way, we're recording this. Okay, so, one more thing, though. And no one picked that one. That's a pretty interesting one. Do you want to know the other most important conspiracy theory? That line is No. 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 Okay. The universe begins every Thursday. Yes. <laughs> when the server, Every Thursday. It's when the server of the simulation resets. And yeah. They land it with new memories. Yeah. So we think today, we've been, all our memories, no, they never happen. That's just not Thursday. And we go for a week, and then it'll all start over, and then we'll be, we'll be green with tentacles. Yeah, we'll and we'll that all the You know the best part about a conspiracy like that? Prove me wrong. Yeah, I mean, like, how can you prove me wrong? I just blew your mind. So why are we studying? I'm moving on. All right. So, oh, one more thing. Why did I make this lowercase? I don't know. 
Another very prominent philosophy that was come about this Hellenistic era was Stoicism. And the Stoics. And Zeno was the philosopher best known for this, and this also in Athens. And the idea of a Stoic, Stoics, but a Stoic, there is all kinds of conflict and pain in life, and therefore, to adapt to this, we must live a virtuous life. And remember, one of the big things that uh, Socrates wanted was to find that virtuous life. And so, that's a, a good friend of mine who now teaches in Hawaii. Yes, every once in a while, I'm very jealous of him. He told me there's a job. I get the call. Okay, so Hawaii is also very expensive to live, but well, you'll get benefits, right? <laughs> a lot more than here. You get Hawaii, Hawaii to be in Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> That's your benefit. <laughs> so, so what we should we promote? Reason. The idea that we can uh, think through processes instead of using your emotion. It's reason over emotion. So that's where you get self-discipline, emotional control. And you are the only ones responsible for your morality. So you must show personal morality. Your conscience must really dominate. Options must be, that is what you're gonna be most accountable to. Nobody can tell you your morality. And in fact, it can't be done at the point of the spear. Because if someone has a spear to your forehead, You'll say whatever morality they want to hear. So you must do it on your own. Morality does not come from rules. Be careful with the globe. The globe, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, special topics, the globe, the globe is part of the attack. Hey. No. Oh, yeah, I was calling. I, I, what do you mean, no? I'm pretty sure special topics have any globe I didn't see anyone read the globe besides you. Huh? I didn't see anyone read the globe besides you. I got to look at your testimony. Oh. <laughs> All right. What happened to the ball? I broke it. <laughs> so, the other thing is immense amounts of power and wealth. To their point of view, wealth corrupts. Awesome. I've been looking for this all day. I think you'd like it. Good, I've needed this. Thank you. So, power and wealth are dangerous. If you have too much power, power will ultimately corrupt. What happens with all that power? Well, yeah, but you will abuse it and you'll try to maintain it. But there's another thing that power does. Power you want to pass on to your children. And so what do you get? The system that is rigged to certain people. You pass it on to your friends. So that is dangerous. By the way, does that happen today? Yeah, it does. Every place outside of here. In here, power only means one thing, me. But also, stoicism, a stoic shows little emotion. I am relatively stoic. I show very little emotion. That's needed by wearing a mask. Don't listen when I said, oh no. I get a little annoyed. Or does something else in here besides class. I get annoyed. I take it very personal. Not stoic. Huh? Not stoic. No, stoicism, you, 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 I show a little emotion, but I could be really mad. But not stoic. I, yeah. So with that, oh, I forgot, and public service. The idea would be to give back, to give back to us. So the idea of stoicism is we have a responsibility to the community. And so the good friend of mine is a teacher in Hawaii. Part of the reason he's a teacher, he would say, because he is a, he is a stoic. And there's an element of that. He actually is very much in this philosophy. Smart guy. He's a teacher. I, I, it's too bad you left. So, good for that school. Euclid. Euclid is another philosopher. Now, philosophy, just trying to find these um, measures of life, he would create what we call geometry, the father of geometry. When I was in, in uh, part of my math degree, when I was in college, I had to take a Euclidean geometry class. And it was based upon his teaching. Most of the geometric rules we have today, we take geometry come from him. But the only tools you have are a compass and a straight edge. There's no ruler, there's no protractor. So everything has to be done with a compass or a straight edge. So you do all measurement with a compass and a straight edge. And it was actually kind of cool. I, I, I actually, I, I was very, I did not want to take that class, but I had to. I turned out I really liked it. 
It was much better than the history of math class, which I should have enjoyed, but it was too hard. Phase six math blew my mind. I just couldn't. It's still, I, that bugged me for the whole semester. So, but that's Euclidean geometry. Erasmusine. Erasmus. Erasmus. He calculated the size of the earth. He was a Greek philosopher in Alexandria. Erasmus. Erasmus. I'm not saying Erasmus. I want to add an S. I keep on wanting to put an S right here. Erasmus. Yeah. Huh? It's it's not quite that, yeah. but it's close. Yeah. <laughs> but like I'm not like I'm not. I want to keep on adding it. I want to grasp for some reason. That's what I'm getting. A rest of the theme. I can't. Michael, he was in Alexander, and what he did is this: he calculated the angle of a column in Alexandria. And then he had somebody walk overland down the Nile River to where there was a well and measured the angle of the sun going on the well at noon. Where the angle of the sun hitting this column at noon and down the well at noon, by coming up with those two angles using Euclidean geometry and knowing that the Earth was, this is what he knew, a perfect sphere. That's what he assumed. He was able to calculate the Earth and almost make it exact. Was well, the only reason he didn't? Okay, part of the reason why he didn't exact, how did they figure out the distance between Alexandria and down to Memphis? How many there's So that's a little bit vague. And what's the other problem? The Earth is not a perfect sphere. Yeah, it's it flattens a little bit so the equator sticks out a little bit. <laughs> No. It's flat. Yeah. Yeah, the earth is flat. Yeah, yeah the earth is flat, as we all know. I would think that's hollow, but huh? hollow. Well, it's hollow and it's got dinosaurs living inside. Yeah, yeah. We all have the pools. But also, I should add then what mountain is the closest to the moon on the earth? Mountain. Good guess, but no. That's actually a pretty good guess. What mountain is the closest to the moon? When I'm saying, imagine when that's the point where that mountain's closest to the moon, which is the shortest. Anyone know? It's not ever. Because the earth flattens a little bit. No, no. It's just more in Ecuador, about 20,000 feet, but because it's on the equator, it's closer to the moon. See? The next time you're on Jeopardy, you can thank me. Maybe someday I'll tell you about when I blew a chance to be on Jeopardy. Wait, please. Yeah, I could have been on Jeopardy. I decided not to do it. So, Archimedes was another one. Yeah, I could have been. I could have been on Jeopardy. This, this, I could have been on when I was back in college. I recall it. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I don't want to do it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So Archimedes, Archimedes, okay, what? Archimedes was the one. He was able to come up with the idea of displacement of water, displacement of water, volume. And this is where you get the famous saying, "Eureka!" He was taking a bath. He was taking a bath. And something fell in. There's lots of different stories of what fell in. It could have been, you know, it was like, like a, it could have been a glass of wine, it could have been a candle, it could have been a ferret. Any number of things might have fell in. Okay, I'm making one of those up. But, and he fell in, ah! And he looked and he noticed the water level went up. And I know it's just something, yeah, obviously the water level goes up, but it just triggered it. Oh, the displacement factor of volume. Water level rises when you have something in. And with that, he was one who was able to calculate the volume of ships. So Archimedes came up with that. And using that idea of volume, he could eventually come up with these uh, he, uh, with, that would transcribe to pulleys and to other machines he used to help for this, uh, to the protect Syracuse from attack from Romans. 
and at the compound pulley, a mechanical screw, which could be used for making a screw runs through propel ships. The propeller on the back of the ship is called a screw. And for drawing water for dams, and supposedly he came up with a big mirror that could burn ships up. So with this one, we don't know. But Archimedes would help, I guess, the Romans would take care of peace anyways, and then the Romans would kill him. He was sitting in the dirt and did not stand up and move for a Roman soldier, and so the Roman soldier killed him. He was drawing pictures and said, just give me a second until I finish. The Romans were mean. Did he finish? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, the hell, we have Alexander of King, uh, Kingdom. Was it a Hellen Hellenistic society? Was it fully Greek? No. It had Greek elements in the areas that they lived. Greek elements. In Greece, they still had the cities. Those were still basically there, the cities. And then you have various kingdoms that would develop out of Alexander. They had Greek elements. But the Seleucids right here, they would fight the Romans for years. That inflicted on the Romans one of their biggest defeats. And so with that, I think that's the last thing I want to show you. A couple last things. Their art is where we get their, some of the greatest examples of, of um, or the beginning of these incredible examples of very realistic art showing movement, expression, pain, torture. And one of the most famous, it's now called, now you have movement, you can see that like almost the muscles rippling. And this is called Wing Victory. And this is at the loop. And if you ever get a chance to go to the Louvre in Paris, it's, it's massive. Yes, the head fell off. They did not try purposely without a head. The statues get knocked down all the time, so you see the heads get toppled. But you can see, you know, you see the shape of her body. And it's pretty remarkable. It's huge. And it wasn't like uh, Egyptian where they have like godlike figures. It was more like everyday or like uh, everyday life or gods in everyday life. Of course, one of the most famous would be the Venus de Milo. And so when I went to the Louvre in Paris, you go there, and there's a long line trying to get in. And my wife and I got there like an hour before it opened. So we right at the front. I can't remember. I think it was like 7, which in Paris is really early because no one's on the Paris line. But we're waiting. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Wait in line. We, we went in, and that's all. I mean, it's just it's huge. It's, it's the old uh, royal castle for for the French kings. They moved out to Versailles. Walked in, and everybody knew we went to go see Venus de Milo before, uh, before all the other tourists went there. So we walked in, and we're like, oh, we got to make it there. And people just started sprinting past us. And guards are yelling at them, stop, stop. And no, they just took off running. Well, stop, it's French. But stop. <laughs> running past us. And so what did we do? We kind of start walking quicker and didn't know we ran. <laughs> and so I was able to get this picture with only a few people in the background. So we don't know what happened to the arm, but she almost certainly was made with arms. <laughs> I put that together. But you can see, you know, that they I was trying to show this idealized person, but also a real person. And the Romans are going to copy this. And most of the statues you see like that are if they're antique, if they're from antiquity, they're Roman copies of Greek, or their 15th and 16th, 17th century copies of Greek and Roman art, which a lot of people have bought thinking they're Greek and way overpaying. And so that is it. We will come back to this. So we have the Roman, this kingdom's happening. Macedonia is still there, but the Romans are coming. I wonder what's going to happen to Macedonia. The Romans will figure it out. We'll figure out how to beat the famous machine guns. That was good. Very good. So let's take out the review. Let's see if there are any questions. No? All right, let's do the test. Let's roll. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll make one change on that. You have to answer at least one or two. At least one, the majority of the maximum two of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. You have to answer at least one of those three. The most will be two. And then there'll be a few others. How many total? Five. 
And this is only 30 mom matches, so you guys are going to have to go that. And remember, what are short IDs again? Short IDs. That's a four paragraph, or four paragraph, wow. Mm -hmm. A four, three to four sentences. The first sentence explain what it is, give an example of something that happened, or an example of it, and then why it's important, what it led to. So think about your know, Aristotelian thinking, this would, um, the idea of logic, and this but the idea of the academy, Socrates, you have this idea of um, questioning and doubting. And, uh, or it would be like, you know, think about Alexander the Great, would lead to the spread of Hellenism throughout the Mediterranean world. You have to relate to something else, the Mycenaean Empire, how that led to the study of the uh, Greek city states, but they would uh, disappear into a dark ages for 800 years. The Battle of Thermopylae, the Persians would win, but would lead to, oh, I'm not the Dark Marathon, maybe I'll put, maybe the Marathon should be a short idea. I might put Marathon as a short idea. That's a choice. So put it in after next to Maribel. All right, any questions? I'll be glad to answer them. If not, we'll take the test now. What? Ask questions, I'll tell you. Yes, sir. Plato. Plato and the Republic. Remember, they all didn't like democracy. There's a big element of we are so much smarter than everybody else. So what do you have on your computer? Uh, who is Themistocles? Themistocles. Remember, he was the guy who led the uh, the Athenian fleet at Salamis, and he'd be kicked out, but he was incredibly important uh, person. He was the guy who was at uh, Thermopylae. Triremes are the are the galleys. They're the galleys with the three tries me three levels of rowers. They had a big ram on the front, and they would be used. You're still, they're still seeing triremes as late as the 1700s in the Mediterranean. Well, you know, it's everything sailing vessels. Yeah. Uh, in short runs, they cannot maneuver anybody. Right. In the long run, there's some problems with them. And yeah, they don't like cannon. Yeah. Okay, the Hellespont. The Hellespont is that uh, piece of land in between the Ottoman Empire. I'm not sure. The Persian Empire in Greece. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's like the Dardanelles separating you know, um, between Turkey, um, Asian Turkey, and European. The Hellespont. Yes. What's that? Salamis. That's the big naval victory of most of the Athenian fleet over the Persians. And that'd be after Thermopylae, after Athens would fall. That's in the second Greco-Persian War. You're in the best. Are you ready for the test? Are you ready for the test? Are you ready for the test? If you review, let's not. Falling. 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 Yeah. That one? Wait, just go for you. I'll give you one. No. Uh, fourth. Call them, second one. Tables. And I'm not going to ask a really detailed question about democracy. If you know the basic elements of, of asking democracy, I mean, we can make, I try not, I can make this incredibly complicated. We went over uh, 3,000 years of years of history in four weeks, so. Yes? Is a, a polis just a Greek city? Yeah, Greek city state. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. uh, polis? Oh! Uh, follies. Okay, follies. I didn't talk about follies. I kind of did. We got to backtrack. He's a philosopher. Oh, he's a philosopher, but let's get to what he did. It's actually follies. I know, I know. I do the same thing. I want to call him follies too. It's an English speaker. I'm not going to do this. I got to change it. I don't like this. Do you like this? It's sideways. Uh, yeah. Who said yeah? Cool. You should do all of them with this. Oh my goodness, I went the wrong way. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? I, I already, I'm already going over everything now. We're good, right? Yeah. 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 
I forgot to add one more. I didn't have it. Okay. So, Tollies. Tollies is a person who used geometry. Used geometry to uh, be able to measure distances along the shoreline. He used oh. geometry. And I mentioned him during Phoenicians. Okay, nice guy. He was a Phoenician, but he lived in Ionia. And so this would be very instrumental for the Greeks in using it. They would settle. Heck, they would go. I'm going to walk all the way over here. The Greeks would colonize all the way to here and even up to here. They don't colonize this group called the Etruscans. Etruscans. We might get to them on Monday. That's where we get gladiatorial games. The Romans would conquer them. That's funny. This is Louisiana. Reach where they went there. <laughs> Every once in a while, though. Every once in a while, you know, they have a little free time. Yeah. What is history? What? What is history? History. Herodotus, Herodotus would invent yeah. history. Remember this idea of okay. looking through history, finding history? Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to the thing right now. So. What do you like now? Each one. The simple one where they made one. Oh, for a model. Oh, yeah. It's top level. It's the most straight. It looks like it's the most straight. Oh. Let's take that one. Platia. Everyone look at the second hole down. Or the second column is about four down or five down. That's where, in the Greco Persian War, the second one, the Greeks would defeat the Persian army. After Salamis, they'd be defeated totally there. Basically, Darius had had, or Xerxes had enough, and he went home. Any other? Any other? Yes. Yeah. Sure. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm doing for the Greco-Persian War. I am going to put that as just Greco-Persian War. You pick which one. Sound good? You pick first or second. So the first one, remember, that's one that ended at Marathon. The second one's Thermopylae, Salamis, and Plotkin. The first one is... Darius, second one, Xerxes. Yes, Al. Like I do. Which one? Curious. That's right. Curious. So that's the one about trying to get five cents. Yeah. Yeah, that was looking for. Now, if, if somebody, if you got a little trouble with your ideas, come talk to me afterwards. I'll be. I can work something out with you. But the base form. Four sentences, a short, or basically you have to write a short term. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. one? Okay. Oh, Sophos. So Sophos, what column is that? Is that, is that their column? The Sophos, those are philosophers. In other words, their duty to teach others, to be a sage and teach others. All the philosophers in some way fit on Some more than others. Any others? Try to, that's a form of Greek theater. With the idea it would be a definite um, hero and some horrible thing that's going to happen to the hero. And you'll see this uh, that idea of the hero and this you know greatness will hit and then the tragedy will happen. So the rise the rise and fall all the way through Shakespeare. That's anything. Yes. What do you mean like this to say about Spartan? All the correct stuff. Anything else? So Sparta, I'll put that down. It just says in the mouth how that created a militarist society where they tried to abolish all the systems of, of um, um, the, where they made gold not valuable and silver not valuable. So there would be um, that idea of greed, and all men would be trained to be soldiers, and the women, the women would actually make the crucial decisions. And oh, and then um, they have two kings with the idea being that um, no one tyrant could be able to take power. Those are the key elements. And then some of the effect of that is they'd be the military power, you know, that was like um, the Persians, the country by the, the, the Athenians. Yes. Oracle at Delphi. The Oracle at Delphi. Now, all that we need to know about that is the Oracle at Delphi would be. Um, the idea was is that the priest or priestesses there could help people decide which, um, or help leaders decide what is the best path to take. 
same thing. So they would take emissaries up to Delphi, and they would be told by the gods. And this would be more like the priests and priests would get that information. It wasn't like the Sumerians or the Persians who would read the uh, entrails of, of uh, various animals. Yes, they would do, they would do uh, not human, but animal sacrifices too. Yeah. Um, Hippocrates. Hippocrates, that's the uh, medicine. The, uh, the Hippocratic oath. Oh, yeah. The yeah, idea yeah, to okay. do no harm. Any other? Yes. India. India. All they would know about Nidhi Mahdi is Alexander went right to the edge of India and his army knew. Basically, you know, they've just gone too far. And some of you let just go home. They built a navy too. I can tell you about that. But it's pretty amazing. It's kind of mind-boggling the stuff they can do. You know, that generation, you know, we're going to go walk across Iran and build, a, and also build a fleet to the parallels. And they're like, okay, we're doing it. It was a tougher generation. My generation. See, see, hey, I come to my crazy theory about you being well, yeah. relatively immortal. Yes, yes. Hellespont, that's that's also called the dark elf. The um, everybody, just want to make sure I got this right. The Hellespont is right this area of Michigan. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Hellespont, right here. And that's why remember the Xerxes block the water. You remember that? They tried to build a bridge and had a flaw. Yeah. That's good. Well, yeah, but it's like a yeah, it's got a cool part. Oh, was the last one? That's the part. Yeah. The flaw is kind of funny. The, the butchering the engineer, crucifying the engineer. Yeah. 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 Any others? Are we ready for the cast? Yeah. Yes. Any others? What do you want us to put for this group? It's a Herodotus. That's weird. Herodotus, kind of the father of history. Oh, Helot. Those were the slaves in Sparta. So they enslaved the areas around Sparta and forced them to become horrific. Or in a horrific condition, they became slaves and they would be quite a cost of civil war. That's part of the reason why they needed the soldiers. Idiotics. I think exactly. not I know. Like I said, there's a massive and organized school like one. You just don't see your care. It's more of a pickle to stop me. Anything else? Troy, Polis, Greco Persian War. So, everyone got that for the Greco Persian War. If you choose that first or second one, you pick. Ionia, the other one's kind of revenge. Okay, the Greek social classes. This is what we got to get for Greek social classes. And this kind of fits in with Athenian democracy. So it really was based on wealth. So we have on top the wealthiest, and they would become like the generals. And then fairly wealthy people would become cavalry because they could afford the horses. And then like working people, they're a step below, and they're the ones who could afford the armor like the hoplites. And then those, the, the, the poor but still free, and they're going to be like the slingers and the cheap weapons. And then who's on the very bottom? Slaves. And outside of Sparta, the social classes were those classes, but um, women were um, considered to be uh, very inferior to men, accepted in Sparta. Despite what we saw in the movie 300 Spartans, women actually made the key decisions. Yeah. Cynics, that's one we just had yesterday, too. That's yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The philosophy of this idea that they looked at the world and said it's all corrupt. Oh, and we must give up our power. Oh, and that was kind of from Socrates. You know, Socrates was doubting everybody, but the cynics took the next step. They're the ones who attack people like dogs. That's where canine comes from. Yes. The Mycenaean civilization. And that is the first Greek civilizations. And so anywhere from about 1500 to 800 BC, and these are Greek polis, and um, the best known ones would be like Mycia, this would be the age of Agamemnon, and the Battle of Troy, and the first developments of, of the Greek cities, the walled cities, the Acropolis would come out of this. 
So the first um, stages of it, and they're probably the ones who destroyed the Minoan civilization in Crete. We don't know exactly what happened to the Mycenaean civilization. It was destroyed by invaders, and it almost always destroyed. It could have been the Sea Peoples, anything else, maybe it was destroyed the Egyptians. And so that would become then the age of like um, of the legends of Greece that come from Mycenae. In fact, I just read something very inter interesting about Troy and whether or not it really happened. Because the place where they found Troy, there are actually eight different cities of Troy on the same spot. And it, huh? They just keep building on the ruins. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It was discovered by an amateur, well, actually a German, what we call archaeologist today, the father of archaeology. He found out, he found it near the Hellespawn. One thing I'll tell you is they think it's probably the third city was in Troy of the legend. And that very well could have happened. There was massive walls, there could have been a siege and a fight. And it appears what destroyed them was the first place. So and the god who and the god who brings earthquakes is Poseidon. Poseidon is the god of the sea. But the symbol for Poseidon, which the Greeks almost certainly made of, was a horse. Do you remember the Trojan horse? That's what it appears to be, thanking Poseidon for destroying Troy. Yeah, so they made him a big horse. They well, they, put it in the city with soldiers inside. No, 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 this is a gift. That's, oh. no, the Trojan horse was the legend, but it appeared like the legend was really they just built a big horse to signify, to thank Poseidon for the earthquake. And the building the big horse turned into the legend of the Trojan. So the legend of Poseidon being a horse derives from using the trick horse. No. Yeah. Sure. I just want to believe that the trick horse is only this because trick horse. 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 Any other? Any other one? Anything else? Of course. This is so sick. Let's bring this inside. Yeah. Salamis. Salamis. That's the big naval battle where the Athenians defeated the Persians in the second Greco-Persian War. You remember what ostracism is? What do they do with ostracism? Yeah, they kick them and kick them off. They don't kill them, but they write it on little pieces of pottery and throw it in the boats. Like Themistocles was kicked out. Yeah. Who wants to say about Pergamon? Oh, Pergamon. And that's what we saw in the video, but Pergamon would be like the, the most flowering example of Hellenistic culture. And it was in what is now Western Turkey. Pergamon. Pergamon, right here. Why is that Pergamon? I want to say Pergamon. That is in the museum. If you go there, it's filled with shell holes and bullet holes from World War II. Huh? Yeah. So the thing I always have to say this, but then so the generals divided up. That's what we Any others? Any others? The Minoans, those the, the, Crete, the civilization on Crete. They built not since they built this might, you know, um, uh, that they're now the huge temple, but it's going to be crushed by either earthquake or tidal wave from the volcano. But then, and then probably the Nicene came in as part of it. Yeah. Part of our big thing about that is in leadership in Sparta, there's two kings. And then a group of religious and, and military leaders around Sparta. Remember, an oligarchy is a rule by a few. Yes. Oh my God! I don't want to take all these. Oh, that's Caleb. Oh, okay. I want to see Caleb. I think I can pay. Any others? Are we ready? Tomorrow. <laughs> Any last minute yeah, questions? All right, so I'm looking about. I think I, I think I have 30 matching, and then five short IDs, and then you have to draw a two scale diorama. Or you have to make a full scale diorama of the Battle of America. Huh? You know, there's 10 on here. I will give, but I'll give you lots of choices. I'll give you three choices. Yeah. So you have to guess which one I would have put down. Okay. 
That's the only fair thing. That's the only fair way. So, what are the, the two great stories that Homer wrote? And what, and, what, and what city was that about? Siege? Troy. Troy. Indirectly or indirectly about Troy? Uh, but, but what is the battle formation? Who? Oh, what was the? Um, it kind of became an Athenian Empire, but all their allies had to take tax. Yeah, the Delian League. What was the war between Athens and Sparta? Who won? Sparta. Sparta. No, Macedonia. No one. Sparta. And oh, Athens. They try to take one yeah. island, and that would spell their doom. Because we all know that that place is Sicily. Yes. I'm oh. Looking at you, Alex. And oh, what was the great temple in Athens? Parthenon. Parthenon. Oh, what is the area of? Get my directions right. Western. Not, today it's Western Turkey. They have all those Greek poems. Ionian. That would be. When they rebelled, would lead to the first Greco-Persian War. Uh, who were the people who lived on what is now Crete? Minoans. Who would be? Don't look at the list. See if we can get without the list. But who would be the king who would make Macedonia great but die very young? Well, Philip. Second. Second. Yeah. What? Who did geometry? Not using geometry to, to measure distances, but use geometry to come up with the system of measuring triangles, etc. Euclid. Euclid. Oh. Where would they send people to go find out the, um, the future to help monarchs, help kings? The Oracle. Oracle Delphi. Yep. Uh, government got through a lot. Oh, who is the king of the? Of the Mycenaeans who supposedly led the, the siege of Troy? Agamemnon. Agamemnon, yep. Hmm. Oh, who was the pointy headed but famous Democrat? Heracles Conan. Heracles what? Heracles Conan. Heracles yep. How did he die? How did Heracles die? Play. Yep, remember the play. <laughs> 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 Don't forget that massive plague that hit Athens. If they wouldn't have that plague, they very well could have won the Peloponnesian War. And that really is a what if. Without that, with Athens being strong, with Macedonia and Rhodes, and with Alexander the Great, yeah. Cynics, Archimedes. Oh, who's the father of history? History. Herodotus, yep. Yeah. Who, uh, pa -pa -pa, I'm looking. I think we've got this. What battle was Darius destroyed and eventually be killed by his own general? Hmm? Gargamel, yep. Yeah. So the one he ran. Yeah, well, he ran it. He ran it both. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think Ansys would be the one. He would be able to rebuild an army, Gargamel, the Persian Empire would fall. That one might be more important. There's going to be a question probably on that one. I think I've covered pretty much everything. So tomorrow will be the quiz. Come in and write. If you're not sure what to do on the short IDs, make sure you ask. If you have trouble with that, please let me know. But there is writing in here. Not that much. It's just a few paragraphs. If they took civil war tactics and ran. Thank you for closing the episode. I love it. We can thank him for the slave and being abolished. Hello? Yeah. Well, he did make a good honor. Oh, because, because he did uh, win some awards. Yeah, that's a good point. If he would have won it early, who knows? I guarantee you one thing. If, if they would if they would have won it at, uh, uh, in front of Richmond, there would be a president. And there almost was. I would like to see that. You don't want to win. They don't listen to me. I don't even know that's what I'm Somebody complained. You would whine. 
I don't care. You already did it. You, you know you're not supposed to do that in class. And you try to so carefully hide it. That's so funny. Hey, at least I learned the lesson with my phone, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want syphilis. Go back. No, but last week I was like, oh yeah, I want to get kill syphilis. Oh, just looking like, yeah. And then we'll go over there. Tell you what. My cousin's up there, and he's friends with the lacrosse team. He's like, the lacrosse team is like, oh yeah. They call it Poor Vegans, you know. They call it Poor Valids, and what it is, they call it Poor Vegans. Oh, I'm good. Apparently, the lacrosse team is like lives in squalor. That's awesome. What do you do for? I'm going to do it. You can 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 I've already waited this long. Okay, let's go. Sounds good? Plus, my next class is fans. Oh, Where are you going? To Idaho. To Idaho? Yes. Why? 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 Well, because Irby's room is as hot as it is out there. <laughs> so, I wanted to be able to, like, not. Go numb. <laughs> so, let's keep on talking. I did this. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Of course, I have a copy of the dream game. I'll pass it on. So, we can do this. Will you back my desk? Yes. Can I also do it Monday, please? What more Snapchat? Don't call me. Here's a Okay, so we have a task. Clear your task. Awesome. You have a task. So this is what we're going to do. I will let you for the first half of the class. Do a little bit of work, research on paper. I'll tell you what exactly you need to have for your conspiracy assignment. You need to have a working model of the conspiracy. I don't know how you do it. I, that's not my idea. And I want it diorama the ship. I want it in a shoebox. Well, you're the one who's scared of me. And you went up. You're the one who scared me. And you went up. You'll never make it in the world of assassination. <laughs> so, wait, how did this go? Uh, what was she sitting at? Well, yeah, I don't see it. So, I was going to ask you. I've already lost it. Yes! Speaking of assassinations, so for like mine, um, I'm doing CIA assassination. Yeah. I'm not part of the CIA thing. Um, I didn't think you would have really, you really think I'd be offended out of everyone. <laughs> I would say I would be offended. By the way, what was it? I love the assassination. Yeah. Hey. Just like. 
The other thing you need to do a presentation. And the presentation you must have, if you're gonna do, for example, you know, if you have another idea, but I put generically a PowerPoint, PowerPoint you have to have at least 10 slides of material. No a title page does not count. And you need some kind of bibliography. And I want it where you got your information from. So a works cited slide? Yeah, some kind of works cited slide. Does it have to be no, like? Does it just give me the the, 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 screen, the link. Or give me the page address or the site you got. Or just the link. Okay. Awesome. And one more thing about this: you're going to look at information. Pay attention up here. You're going to look at information. You're going to find out that there's a lot of stuff in these conspiracies, and you can a lot of them are garbage. So you have to go through and decide which one be the best one. Ask questions. Go through and figure out what is the most logical. Remember, you might find one that are trying to push the conspiracy theory. And they might be able to get loony. Can we like use them to like acknowledge that they're loony? Like, this well, you can use them as this is what the conspiracy okay. is. But then you have to have a personal evaluation. <coughs> the personal evaluation, if you believe this happened, you know, why it happened, is it, is it or um, do you believe it actually did happen? And can something like this happen again? Now, the last one, I'll answer the question for you. Yeah, oh yeah. There'll be more conspiracy theories like that because we're American. So I'm going to give you the first part of class to work on that, and then I'll sound good. So, so uh, it's, what do you want? Is everyone's conspiracy going to be different? Yeah, everyone's doing different. Yeah. Find a couple you like, and then we'll see. Uh, anyone stay? Uh, yes. Like, Anarchists and socialists are Yes. Huh? Yeah, she got fan. Yeah. All right, so Yeah. Are you doing that one? 
Wait, Carlin said he's doing MLK in the FBI. Oh, you are doing MLK? Oh, I lied. Um, you lied about MLK? You're doing Is anyone doing a lot of I think he's in class. Yeah, no, I'm in the jump last game class. Nice. Good. That was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was hilarious in you. Yeah. Yeah. You should know this. Oh, I don't know. That's <laughs> okay. You probably don't know who he is. Are you serious? Hey, I'll I'm just going to do it. So somebody has to. I need to get I have John. Did anyone have John Lennon in the FBI? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Mr. Partridge, is it allowed for Brennan to. Um, yes, I know. Yes, you can take that one. What did you have to <laughs> You have so many syphilis jokes in two days. When she would see after one. <laughs> Even that's too many when you think about it. Let me tell you about Henry VIII. Oh, okay, fine. Obama's birthday. Yeah, Obama's birthday. Does anyone have a, no one did Obama's birthday? Sure. That's all about That's the whole thing. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. That's it. We did Obama's birthday? I got one. I lied to you again. So was it that one too? We did Obama's birthday. Yes, he did. God, I should have my list in front of me. Sorry, I'm fast enough. You said that was funny. I have a computer. Yeah, he was his son. Oh, I have not read the whole thing that I've read. I've read the whole thing. No, I think it's actually your birthday. No, actually, the creature. I'm like the only student that's all the apps. All right, I'll do what I should do. Brave and I should look at my list. Okay. Okay, so it's clear some of you aren't working on your assignment. So my assumption is, are we done? Calvin, are you done? No, for COVID time. And if you're done, you're done. 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 you are done 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 you are done
block or the browser. Are you going to allow the Wikipedia? Uh, I'll let you use it for the basic information, but then after that. Okay. For the conspiracy theories, Wikipedia. Okay, we're looking at battles of, let's say, uh, the 1700s Europe. Oh, you know, during the, the Seven Years' War. Wikipedia is actually one of the best sources you'll get. Really? For conspiracy theories, Wikipedia is actually pretty bad. Yeah, because yeah. anyone can edit it. Because no one's going to edit the Seven Years' War. But, paperclip, you can get the basics of Wikipedia. But I'm not kidding. You want to look up a battle. Wikipedia is actually good. Pretty darn good. I know just yeah, that's for general information. Like it's yeah. Wikipedia is inconsistent. Anything new? Let's say you look up, let's say President Trump. Wikipedia is about. And then we'll make sure you save it on something a little while back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That is awesome. It's actually computers that do the screen. Oh, your personal value is this one. Maybe on the I don't even think it's not a big reveal. What's not that big of a deal? What is the What is the What is the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the ducks is on. Except it's Where are you going? I'm just saying, probably for ducks. I think I'm going to be able to So there's the real. No, I can't put it at this, but I might put Well, you have to use the real. You're sick. I'm going to make up that down. It doesn't really fit your own. It's going to be on a back curve. And then you have to use it all. If you don't like the top of the top. It's like the most famous. Yeah, or me too. Well, I have a little bit of data. We can do that. Oh. Excuse me. Well, here, the one that's conspiracy. Here's the other one. And that's the topic you need to do that hard, like, on slots. I think it's going to be the original topic. Yeah, that's what they're doing. So, but the only argument I've actually found against it is so, like, I saw, like, that's happened in the period of time. I was like, you shouldn't wait for him. And that's what I've seen. You know how to do it. There's a No. Oh, I think it's very strange. It's very weird. That is really weird. I, 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 I have no idea. I play PG's two things. Do you want to tie that? Do you want to hide what happens? Exactly. Zombies. Zombies. I'm trying to figure out what it's like. It's not good. 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 It's not I don't even care what it is. Alright, everybody! Can they give me some They don't give it to me. I don't know. I've always just gone there. I was just reading it. I was just reading it. I was just reading it. But if I get some people, you should talk about it. So you get everyone for like a thousand things like this. So it's too great on Thank you. Thank you.
So tomorrow just check in, keep the library of the tech center so you can time to work. The last about 20 minutes, I'll tell you a few little facts about last little thing about conspiracy theories. <laughs> I was toasting. This is the worst part of the Okay. And that one just a brief history. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other one. Then like the other one. 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 The so that one, they did look at it. Yeah. 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 They were conspiracy. 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 They were Probably like 50 more than the get under there. Or just. Or just. Or just. Or just. Or just. Or just. So you're doing Tuskegee? Yeah, Tuskegee. What is the Tuskegee? Who's on the fifty dollars? Oh, it's Raul. I don't look back. It's Raul. He's on the two. I mean, he's on the two. Jeffers is on the two. Oh, the difference is exactly. Wait, where are you at? President Grant. Who's on the $50 bill? President Grant. I just had to think about it really hard. So, did MK Ultra actually happen? Yep, there's there's Operation MK Ultra. Now here's the thing on MK Ultra. That really happened. But if they just exaggerated how bad it was. Well, no, not necessarily. A lot of stuff they showed that really happened. It was that bad. I mean, they did some unbelievable things to people. But the big thing about it was, okay, so all this horrible stuff happened. So that's the that wasn't considered. That's a crime. But then you get to the next thing. Well, the Harper and Washington. Yeah. People who have been brainwashed all the But there's also the real conspiracy. Uh, all the LSD and all this stuff. They really did that. So, you, what they did was by definition a conspiracy. And so, you have to talk about that. It is a great story. But then, maybe like one slide talk about this. Yeah, because people play okay, CIA agents and sleeper cells. So, you and I believe how many people believe, like, uh, so it's true. It's true. I'm sure 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 I'
So it actually happened, but then there's a tree bridge. Exactly. And so pick a couple of those. Yeah, MK Alpha is like one of those. Um, once you have that horrible thing they did, then it's really easy to get all the rules. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've heard people say that the hijackers on 9 11. Okay, I'll make it your own. Really? Yeah, it's like, we'll put the I so you get the, the original one. Well, like, we don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's all I thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, I got it. Like Home, it's the spine. Oh, really cool. I don't know. There must be something in there that's not going to be And you know what the vocal spirit is. There's a lot of this. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. There's almost certainly an element of truth. But it's kind of amazing how you would have weak bond and that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, and then it's also a little bit this. My favorite is that. Sure. I don't know why people want to do that or if that'd be intelligent, but there's a lot of socializing, especially 17, 18, 19. But she kind of missed it. You know, being 16 in college, being 18 in college is hard enough. You can see there's a lot of old. It's like a year of old. It's like a year of I don't know. Well, it's like, it's like, small town, like, not to do it. You can't even like, I don't like, yeah. But, but you said that you were in college and you were in college. Yeah. 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 So we got a paper thing, okay, and 
about five minutes, just a few more notes about conspiracies. Oh, Exactly how much Truman was thinking, but we need to think about this. Why would you want to watch the sound? Do you get information that they have? Like, who don't you want to have that information? Okay, I'm going to try to see he's able to put stuff. It's just like, that is so bizarre. Think about this trust of the soul. Yeah, the. Um, there was this real belief that the Nazis were way ahead technologically, which actually they weren't. Really? But they were in a couple of years, but overall, Nazis were very anti science. You know, especially because a lot of scientists were Jews and a few other things. So. That one is just mind boggling. Now, that one, that's another twofold one, too. Because that's one, it's a real conspiracy. Yeah. This, this was a real crime and it happened. But then when you have something like that happen, could you see a lot of people saying, well, that must be this, this, and this? Yeah. You know, I don't trust the government. Because right, no, that's what it said. It said, uh, you know, because Clinton apologized for it in like 97 yeah. or something. And it's still, it, the Washington Post says it still leaves a lot of that kind of distrust. At least at first, that's why so many African Americans were distrustful of the COVID vaccines. Yeah. Because they said, oh, what about that? Yeah. Um, now that's good. That has changed, you know, finding the vaccine. But, um, yeah. yeah. So it's amazing how you get this horrible thing. You have to see them they all turn. The tentacles will go out. Yeah. And it's just hard to get out. Yeah. It's kind of, it, one of all these conspiracies, you notice there's a grain of truth, maybe a lot of truth, then it branches off all kinds. Especially people who might just know little bits and pieces. Okay, the New York Post makes good articles. Could you? New York Post. I think the school is that one. New York Post is kind of. It's a tabloid. So you get basic details. That's not how you Me too? Yes. I would be. I definitely. I can get something from the playback. Yeah, like, what is the news? Like, I don't know, me too, guys. I'm just going to look at my paper. Socks, shoes. Oh, thank you. I don't know, matches. <laughs> yeah, matches everything. Socks, shoes. What went to the South Beach? Like, just saying, I saw it. Where's the Bible? Where's the Bible? Where's the And you know, I have the, the three things you basically need. Some might not necessarily 100% apply. You know, but those are the three basic things. Just make sure you're dressing your presentation. 
and the paper and the presentation will parallel in some ways. But think about the presentation, is there are some things that are kind of like funny, you're like, wow, you can see this. That's for the presentation. The paper, you'll get the main elements on. Phantom Time One, your whole thing is coming out. That's such a, but there are a lot of people. Whoops. Town Hall. You can break just one or two. The Wait, what is it? So it's essentially the period 6, uh, 6, 14 to 9 on B6. The 9, 6. That the, like, how many people look for that? Created a period of people. Like, 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 I'm just saying that would be such a like, Hitler's, yeah, I mean, all the way to But you can relate it to like Kennedy. Right? Yeah, <coughs> without a doubt, relate to Kennedy. Okay, let's go. Um, they actually have videos released for the old trailer, but okay. how did you experience it? Alex, you better talk about Ted in relation to MK Ted? Ted Kaczynski? Oh, yeah, Ted Kaczynski. That's part of the reason he became the Unibomber. Really? Yeah, when I do assassinations, I have Kaczynski. Yeah. yeah he, he, was, he, was, he went through it. And, and also, one of the most famous you know, gangsters right? in, in history was MK Ultra. Or Whitey Bulger. Who said Ted? I was thinking like this stuff. MK Ultra. <laughs> 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 no, but that's Kaczynski MK Ultra stuff. It's like, it's crazy, man. Not cool. Uh, how do you know so much about this, like, random stuff? Well, I don't know. I think Kaczynski's fascinating. He's not here for, like, the longest time. One day I want to go up to that cabin. I say I did. That's how the conspiracy is. You have to go visit it. Is it a... Is it a... You know, it's just the cabin still up there. I think there's some protections and stuff. I don't think it's going to be a game. I think it's just... We can totally break it. Yeah, can we take a field trip up to Ted Kaczynski's cabin? That's a blast. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to drop you off in the middle of the forest. So you have nothing but a straight edge and a compass, and you have to find your way to Ted Kaczynski's cabin. I would give you a week. And you, you, you have to survive on your only tools, a straight edge and a compass. So you can also do your job. You mean a ruler? No. Oh, I just reminded of something about presentations. So you're doing a presentation. I'm going to pay attention up here. If you're doing a presentation, do not have much text on it. Yeah. You have a lot of text on there. What do you have? What, you know, think about think about text. Then what do you do? Read it for everybody? Or just stand there and say, read. Read. <laughs> Just put a few words, and then you fill in the blanks. Now, if you want to add text so you don't forget it, put it in the note section so you can print it off for yourself. But it's a bad presentation um, if you read too much. If you read too much off the, I've been through way too many of those. Does Where they have just all text, and then they say, "Let's all read together," and everyone reads this. <laughs> or they say, "I wrote it up here. Write it down," and they walk away, right and stand there and look at you. So, if you have things but you don't want to forget it, put it in your notes or something so you have it, and then you read it off. You fill in the blanks. It's a bad presentation to have too many words. I sometimes go to the experiment and have almost no words. But just a few words, you fill in the blanks. Ever got that? Oh, sorry. It's a lot better presentation to it. Now, that means you have to be a little more prepared, but that's a heck of a lot better than watching somebody read off a slide that we all could do. Yeah, so this is now. So I'm going to put it in You better not You have a different idea. Because there would be some. You know, kind of different. Like, people do. Uh, 
thing. I've had a few people do for assassinations. They do Operation Mongoose and they have to assassinate. And they actually made like little cartoons of each one. And stuff like that, or you have a poster board, that's perfectly fine too. That would, that would be great. I just made generically, if you want to do a presentation, I bet we've did the past, last year we didn't do the weird year. We've also done things where they've done like a newspaper. Oh, I'm going to sign into the library tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to give five more. Oh, shoot. Okay.